Google Fonts is the most popular way of including non-standard fonts on a website. Out of the box, in 2020, its performance is already quite good. You add them to a website through a script like this. Looking at our website's waterfall, we can see the request here, which has already been made non-blocking automatically by the critical module from the previous video. The request returns CSS font space rules, which the browser can then use to download WAF2 files, which on modern browsers is the format most commonly used for web fonts. These are then applied to the page's text, provided the correct font family CSS is in place. Still, there's a bit of room for improvement. The Google font files are what's called the late discovered resources. This is because currently, the browser has to wait until the Google fonts CSS is downloaded and parsed before it discovers that the font files even exist. Whilst we can't preload the WAF2 files directly, as the file names will change often as the fonts are updated by Google, we can at least pre-connect to the domain, which won't change, to get the network negotiation out of the way as early as possible. The WAF2 fonts come from a domain called fonts.gstatic.com. Let's pre-connect to this. Now, looking at the waterfall, with the change in place, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. This, it turns out, is because when pre-connecting to font resources, you need a cross-origin attribute on the link element to satisfy the font face specification. Now, if we look at the waterfall again, the pre-connect looks to be working, and compared to before, the font starts downloading immediately once the Google Fonts CSS is downloaded, meaning those web fonts will appear on the page much sooner. Another popular recommendation to speed up Google Fonts is to preload the initial CSS like so. In this case, however, if we compare the waterfall with and without preload, there's little difference. This is because the only blocking resource here is HTML, so any subsequent requests are fired as soon as the HTML parser discovers them. So essentially, there's nothing to preload, as the browser in this instance is already downloading this resource immediately. It's worth remembering though, that MLE Power is still only a relatively simple test website. On much bigger and more complicated websites, Preloading Google fonts will likely make a difference.